Hey traders, Jason here from Lever Brothers. All right, so TD Ameritrade is transitioning to Schwab. Schwab's acquiring TD Ameritrade and they're in the transition process. They're moving accounts over. Um, so I wanna do a quick video on some of the challenges I've had. I have multiple accounts at TD Ameritrade. Not all of them were transferred over to Schwab. So now I have accounts at two different companies. So I just wanna talk through some of the challenges I've had. Hopefully uh, this will help you so you don't have to spend as many hours trying to figure things out as I have because I'm not the most tech savvy person. So three things I'm going to talk about is one, just logging in. There's a little bit of a difference uh, or I should say with the app, you got to switch back. You can switch back and forth between the two different companies. Another one is transferring workspaces. OK, if you've been with Thinkorswim for a long time with TD Ameritrade, you probably have a lot of charts, layouts, studies, indicators. A lot of stuff has built up over the years. You certainly don't want to recreate all that stuff from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to talk about how to transfer that. And then three, um, transferring watch lists. Like for some reason, when I transferred my workspace, everything worked great, but my watch list didn't transfer. So I'm going to talk about that. All right, let's get into it. All right, so when you double click on the TD Ameritrade app on your desktop or laptop, you'll get something that looks like this. So for starters, you can see green here. Green means TD Ameritrade, blue means Schwab. If you wanna log into TD, TD Ameritrade, you just log in as you normally would. If you want to switch over to Schwab, you gotta click on this little wheel here down on the left button, left corner, okay? And now all these are screenshots. I didn't wanna record this live for two reasons. One is I'm afraid something's gonna pop up on my screen that's personal information that I don't want out there. Um, so I, that's one reason. Another reason is because every time I do something like this, it wants to like reinstall updates and stuff. And I don't know why it does that because I just logged in like two minutes ago. There's no updates to install. But anyways, that's why I'm gonna. That's why I'm doing this with screenshots rather than with uh, live stuff. All right. So you click on that wheel in the bottom left. You're gonna get a window that looks like this. Um, and what you want to do is right up here where it says account and TD Ameritrade is populated. You're going to want to click on that drop down and you can see Schwab is one of the choices. So I click on Schwab and then I click save. And after it installs updates, et cetera, et cetera. Well, actually it doesn't. It, it gives me this button. It gives me this uh, prompt. Ask me if I want to restart. I say yes. And then it installs updates, blah, blah, blah. And then it gives me this. And now I can just log in with Schwab. And you'll notice that everything has turned to blue. So TD Ameritrade is green. Schwab is blue. So if you're like me and you now have accounts at both places, you kind of go you know, color coordinated. You know which account you're logging into. All right. Now let's go into transferring workspaces. If you're like me, and I don't assume everyone is like me, but I would imagine most of you, I, I keep things really basic and simple. I don't have a lot of complex stuff in here. Most of you probably are pretty similar to me. Um, you probably have some like study sets uh, saved, okay? So maybe you have a chart and you have like three different indicators and you save that and you name it and then maybe you have an, a different chart for whatever reason. It's like futures or, or ETFs or longer term or shorter term or whatever, and you might have a different set of indicators. So you have these different study sets. And so I have a, I have probably 10 or 15 of these, and I certainly don't want to go over to Schwab and recreate it because the first time I logged into Schwab, everything was blank. My account was there, but my the trading platform was just completely blank. All I could do is bring up a, a simple chart and there was nothing there. So I don't want to recreate everything. I want to be able to just transfer everything all you know, over all at once. Uh, so this is how I did it. All right, so I go, you click on the, you click on this setup with the wheel icon. And the first thing I did is I want to save my workspace. Okay, so any changes that I made in the last day, two days, week, whatever, I want to just save it so I have like the most updated copy. You probably have a saved workspace. You might, probably. Um, but I'm just going to save it so that, I, so that it's like the most up-to-date version right now. Okay. So then after I save it, I want to share it. Okay, so I again go into this setup icon, click on share workspace, and there is my name of my workspace. It's called main workspace. Okay, so in the I just I just talked about like save the workspace. I saved it and I named it main workspace. Now I want to share the workspace. So I go in here and I click on 
main workspace. When that happens, I'm gonna get a pop-up window that looks like this. You can see it, main workspace here, and I want, and I'm, and I'm just gonna go click, I'm gonna click share here to share the workspace. And I'm gonna get a window that pops up that looks like this. It's gonna pop up and then it's gonna disappear after a couple seconds. There's gonna be a URL here. You don't have to remember it. You don't have to do a quick print screen or anything like that or try and copy it. Um, it will automatically be copied. Okay, it's the equivalent of hitting Control C, so it'll automatically copy it. You can see here where it says hit Control V to paste it. So you could paste this into an email, email it to yourself. When I transfer things from one computer to another, I just use Telegram. So if you're if you're on a computer and you are now you now have this URL, if you if you're gonna open up Schwab in the same computer, you can just power down thinkorswim reopen it up, go over to Schwab, and you have the URL, but if you're going from, you know, in my case, I was going from my laptop to my desktop, I would just paste this into an email or paste this into Telegram and just send it to the other computer. So that's what you'll get. You'll get that URL. Uh, then you'll go log into the new computer, log into the new thing, um, log into Schwab. I'm not logged into Schwab with this particular window, but it doesn't really matter. Again, go over here to Setup. Um, there are two things, there are two ways I want to talk about doing this really quick is that if you're saving, if you're, if, if you're on the same computer, when I, when I saved my main workspace and then I logged out and then I logged back in as Schwab, main workspace showed up here. So I just clicked on it and it worked. If that doesn't work, if that doesn't happen, then you have the URL, okay? And what you want to do is you have open shared item, okay? Because you, you're sharing it to yourself, so you want to click on that. And then you'll get a window. When you hit, click on Open Shared Window, you'll get a, a, a pop-up that looks like this. It says Shared Item URL. So you're going to hit Control V because remember, you've already, uh, it's already, it's already saved. Uh, or if, you, if you've saved something else since then, you're going to have to like, go copy and paste it from uh, your e email or wherever. So put it in there. You're going to hit Preview. Okay, after you put it in there, preview will become, will light up. And then after it, the preview passes whatever test it needs to pass, then the import button down here will become a clickable link instead of a dead link. And then at that point in time, you have uh, taken your workspace from your, from your TD Ameritrade account and you've now transferred it and imported it over to your Schwab account. All right, now let's talk about watch lists. Now, when I did the workspaces, everything worked perfect. My entire layout, all the charts, all the indicators, everything was exactly as I had it in TD Ameritrade, was then in Schwab, except my watch list. So you probably have a bunch of watch lists like this. I have probably, a, I have a couple dozen of them. This is my semiconductor watch list. None of the watch lists transferred over. Okay, I could not figure out how to transfer all of them together, so I had to transfer them one at a time. So I'm just gonna go through it. If you can figure out how to do it, great. I just couldn't do that. Um, so what you wanna do is you're gonna click on the menu button up here, the, like the three little dashes there. And when, that, when you click on that, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, then click on export file, as you can see here. Okay, click on export file. And then after you do that, uh, it's gonna just, it's gonna allow you to, to name it and save it um, to wherever, okay? So this is like, I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. It's a CSV file, so it's just a spreadsheet. I named it semis. I blocked all this stuff out just because I don't know what's on my desktop and I just didn't wanna clean it up before recording this video. So anyways, you're basically just saving a spreadsheet to your, uh, in my case, into my desktop. Then go over into the, then you're gonna to have to log out of TD Ameritrade, log into Schwab, okay? Then you're gonna go click on you know, one of your watch lists here. Uh, as you can see here, then you're gonna click on create watch list. Okay, you're gonna get a, a window that's gonna pop up like this. You're gonna name your watch list. I name it semiconductors. Then I'm going to click the import button. And after clicking the import button, then you're gonna get a window that pops up like this. And then you, you just use the select file, you click on this, you go find that file on your desktop or wherever you saved it, click okay, click save, and then your watch list will be there. If you have 20 or 25, it'll take you a little bit of time. Um, it's not that bad. Okay, so that's it, not a big deal. 
Um, I'd say so far, Trent, my experience has been the transition has been pretty good. I haven't had any like money disappear from my account. My positions are all there. A um, little bit frustrating with like opening up TD or Schwab for the first time and seeing my account there, but like seeing the charts just completely blank starting from, from scratch. Hopefully this helps you with the transition. Um, hopefully it helps you with the transition. All right. See you next time.